Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to install macOS Sequoia on HP ProDesk, Elite Desk or Pro Mini. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So guys, let's start. For this guide, I'll be using the HP ProDesk Desktop Mini PC, powered with an Intel Core i3 CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and 2 terabytes NVMe installed. By following this guide, you'll be able to install macOS Sequoia on any HP ProDesk or Elite Desk, or Pro Mini. For this purpose, you'll require, open core package for downloading the required files, EFI according to your target system, to create EFI for your system, follow the guide for my button, Rufus for erasing the USB, and any USB minimum with 2GB capacity, also a working internet connection is required. Firstly, we'll create a macOS Sequoia bootable USB. And after that, we will install it. For creating the USB, you'll need Python and I'm assuming that Python is already installed. And now I'll just follow the previous guide of creating the bootable USB. You can find the link below or check out the video for my button. And now the USB is ready and it can be used for installation. Now, power on your system and boot to BIOS. Here, load BIOS defaults and then exit the BIOS saving changes, and then again boot to BIOS. Now change the following settings.
and after making the changes, exit BIOS saving changes. And now plug the created Mac OS Sequoia bootable recovery installer USB, and boot to boot menu. From here, select your USB, followed by the UEFI prefix and press enter to boot. After booting to open core, boot using EFI DMG, and wait for some time to boot to the installer. From here, select your preferred language and click on the right arrow button. And now before proceeding, make sure that you're connected to the internet. For connecting to the internet, you can use a USB router, USB to Ethernet adapter, Ethernet or Wi-Fi, if available. After getting connected, select Disk Utility and click on Continue. Here, click on View and then click on Show All Devices. Now select your main drive instead of any partitions and click on the erase button, and erase the drive with the following parameters. After erasing the drive, Close this utility and now select Reinstall Mac OS Sequoia and click on Continue. And here if clicking on Continue doesn't work, quit Install Mac OS and continue with it again and proceed with the installer. Also, if you have connected to Ethernet, and still getting this error, please check out the guide for fixing it. The link to the guide will be in the i button and description as well. Here, select the drive you created and then click on Continue. And now Mac OS Sequoia will be installed in a while. Keep in mind that the installation process may take a while depending on your internet speed and during the installation, your PC will restart several times. So don't worry about it.
And finally the macOS Sequoia setup screen is here. Set up your macOS according to your preferences. macOS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun as the stars begin to shine through the clear night. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun as the stars begin to shine through the clear night. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun as the stars begin to shine through the clear night. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun as the stars begin to shine through the clear night. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun as the stars begin to shine through the clear night. After reaching the Sequoia desktop, you must make the PC boot independently without USB. For that, mount the ESP of your system drive, After mounting the ESP, copy the EFI folder from your USB and paste it into the EFI partition of the system drive. After putting the EFI jack the EFI partitions and USB as well. And now restart your PC and boot to macOS Sequoia without using USB.
Finally, everything is done. And you can see, macOS Sequoia has been successfully installed on HP ProDesk. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.